Life's good. Mad gratitude. Mad gratitude. That you can't help but feel empathy for the pressures that officials feel, government officials, and, and from their citizens. And we see it even in the developed world, as you were saying, people reacting to high energy prices, the, the yellow this, this situation. So, so like, I, I, we have to start with empathy and understanding, but we also have to recognize that failure to act boldly puts enormous vulnerability under huge stretches of humanity, and often those who will least be able to react in effective ways to it. So what does that mean? That means first that we have to take it on as a global challenge, as I said earlier, where the developed world feels a responsibility to help uh, low and middle income countries to move faster. Second, we have to realize that every single thing we do in technology to bring down the cost of this transition will pay for itself many times over because one, it is extraordinarily expensive and two, it'll, it'll change the trade-off curve for many others where this trade-off is enormously expensive. So all the investments we make in technology, whether it's in renewables, whether it's in carbon capture, whether it's in technologies that are out of favor like nuclear right now, but will maybe, in, maybe not in all parts of the world, but in some parts of the world will be an important part of the solution. We went to sleep at this uh, beautiful remote spot. And look, it's 32 degrees outside. Matt over there, the moon, the sun's rising on the opposite end. Yo, damn, look, there's even ice forming right here. Let me show you guys how I charge up the goal zero using the sun. Probably use the sun's power here. Throw that up on top. To be honest, this doesn't charge the goal zero as much as I want it to, but we'll we'll upgrade that down the line. As we see, it's getting 45 watts from the sun right now.
6, 6 a.m. in the morning. We slept at this hot spring. Didn't have a chance to jump in it. But now it's it's the early risers who have the chance to to wake up to sunrise at this hot spring. Um, let me give you a tour of my home. We have a sleeping platform inside the GX. I have this North Face sleeping bag keeping me warm. I have a two inch self-inflating mattress. Right here I sleep next to my battery operated shower system. I have a Dometic fridge over here. I have all my other miscellaneous goodies and utilities over there. I have a fan when it gets really warm over there. To get into this hot spring, you gotta do a little bit of off-roading, which I definitely built the GX for. So I've got skid plates underneath for very rocky conditions. Damn, I don't know what, should I take this path over here? Nice, yo, the GX is doing it easily. Oh shit. We did it, screw it. Gang. Nice. Live in. Oh shit. Yeah. People of Earth, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta see this. Yo, look at how beautiful this is. Yo, got the limps right now. But uh, yo. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Fuck. So much. Oh. Damn, this is beautiful. I could do this every day. Damn, so peaceful here. Any scary encounters with wildlife in Utah? Not much. much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just remember seeing this video of a mountain lion chasing a hiker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that video, I was like, the water is so warm. That has to be one of its kind. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of times when stuff like that happens, they're like looking for a leaf and say it, right. just looking for I think a fat jogger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy ran up on his, I mean, accidentally ran into like, saw the babies Oh, first. saw the babies and That's, pissed, pissed her off. Yeah, like, man. Are they there out here? People of Earth, what a what a new wonderful day we're living in. Yo, just took photos of the beautiful environment we're in. Gotta clean this lens. Oof. Yo. 
Oh, look at how muddy the car is. Oh, shit. Yo. Damn, this place is really nice. Um, so basically today, we're heading to Vegas to meet up my homie, Tori James. And uh, I haven't seen him in a while and he's opening up a surf resort. So it's gonna be really fun. But check out this beautiful environment we're in. Yo, hot spring over there. Yo, ready for some off-roading action? Yeah, let's get this. Ooh. Yo, living. X is killing it. So dope! <laughs> Where's Matt at? He's out with Denver. Denver got into uh, Oh no. It's Yo, the life of living in a van with it's a beautiful true. dog. You he gotta. He chocolate, so we're a little worried. Oh, he ate a little bit of chocolate? Yeah. He'll be fine. I think he'll be okay. My dog's have ate chocolate before my dog. He didn't know. eat a bunch of it, no? Just like these little pieces. Like mm. little Yo, this place is nice. Yo, living. Yeah, so check out the setup right here. Look, I have all the water I need right here. Here's some some beans, quinoa, 
chia seeds. I have like all my all my essentials in these marmot like organizers here. Toiletries and stuff. Yeah. Um, this is the back. A little little tape drop down table. The Dometic right here. Yeah, yo, life is good. Booing. Oh shit, that light is still on. All right, we have to turn this bad boy off. Nice. But yeah, that's that's my home for the next couple of months until I'm tired of living this way. I don't actually, I don't know if I'll ever get tired of living this way. This way of life is so lit. We're currently driving through Nevada and we're gonna make a pit stop in Vegas. We are now in Vegas and we are currently staying at a friend's place and starting our morning with some sunlight absorption and some yoga. Yo, right now we're making some some vegan hot dogs in Tori's backyard. Yo, living, bro. Look at that. Yo, Matt, how we living, bro? Amazing, yo. Yeah. These are game changer. They're reusable bags. They're safe of everything. Yo, look, you just put leftover mushrooms in there. Yeah, living, living swell. Yo, Matt and hey, I's favorite new drink. Thanks for Send to Tori. us, please. Yo, send us some facts. Dude, uh -uh. damn, that's a cool product too in your hand. Whoa, what does that do? What does that gadget do? Yo, it's a, that's just fire. It's a lantern, bro. Word? That also charges your phone. What else? That's it? That's lit. So that's actually fucking cool. And it turns into a lantern cube? Mm-hmm. Yo, that's fire. Actually, Yo, it has a big battery in there, huh? Yeah. We've had an awesome two and a half days here in Nevada. And the journey continues. We are going to drive through Nevada into San Diego, which is our last destination on this expedition. And uh, we had to say goodbye to Tori in Paris, but uh, we will all meet again. This, this whole experience here in Nevada has been great and it's definitely time to continue on on the journey. We're heading to San Diego right now and uh, we should be there in like four or five hours. Yo, we fucking made it, brev. Yo, the waves are nice. 